We are here at Belleville Community Park. Lake Bellevue is over there. And it is not quite ice out. You can see that uh, over there, half the lake is roughly still iced, half the lake is out. Um, the area around the outhouse looks like it is actually free. So we're gonna jig with a little bit of a crappie bait, both behind the outhouse and over there on the dock and see if we can catch any early spring fish. As a note, if you are fishing Lake Bellevue, please do catch and release. There's just not that many fish here. Spring, honestly, especially bass, there's might be a couple of panfish here. Spring is realistically the only time that uh, fishing is actually productive around this area. Um, and it's usually April, May, so I'm probably a little bit early. Okay, the lake sucked. So we're right now right above the dam on the river, on the sugar. This is the first of the three dams on the sugar. This is upstream from where we fish for those pike. And it's pike season's closed, so we're just gonna toss a worm in the river and see what we can actually get. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with a little minnowy lure. I might actually just go on top of the dam and toss in, or I might go downstream or something, or upstream to toss some more. So uh, let's see what we can actually get here. I wonder if there's any uh, fish in that puddle over there. All right, we just tossed a worm into the river. Not really sure how it's going to do. Maybe it'll get a bite, maybe it won't. Um, water is actually not that calm over here. Might have to move like over there and then swing that way. But let's see if there's actually any fish in this area right above the dam. There might actually be an actual fish on here. I'm detecting some resistance. Oh, that's a fish. It's definitely a fish. I didn't feel it because of the current, but that's definitely a fish. Be kind of a weird thing reeling him in, but it's a fish. It's a dirty old carp. Don't have the camera here. I think that's a carp. Is that a carp? No, it's actually a sucker. It's a red horse. What do you know? A short face red horse right above the dam. This is the first fish I've caught this close to above the dam. Very nice. A short face red horse. All right, Mr. Red Horse. There you go. We've actually moved directly on top of the dam to see if we can actually get any more red horse suckers or some carp or if there's a crappie or something i know they'll bite too because i have actually uh caught crappie down in the flow i've never caught a crappie up here but down there certainly caught some crappies before pole just went crazy which means there is definitely a fish there is definitely a fish it feels pretty small though is it a red horse i think it is it's another red horse. Is it a different species? It is. It, I think, nope, it's a short face. There's a lot of short face here. It looks like it's the most common species here. Very, very similar. Mr. Short Face Red Horse. Loves the worms. Loves the worms indeed. I wonder if there's any other types of fish here above the dam. Another short face red horse. Red horses are kind of like carps, except with a funny, goofy nose. All right, see you, red horse. I'm actually sort of hoping for like a buffalo or something, a buffalo sucker. Things can get pretty big, and I know I've seen them around here. Haven't ever caught one around this area of the sugar, but I know they're around here. The string just went super slack and started flowing. I'm guessing that's a fish. That is a fish. Oh, fighting again. Feels like another red horse. Not really sure if we have anything besides red horses here. Yes, yeah, so, well, that's another short face. No, it's actually a common carp. All right, a very common carp. Very, very common. Small carp, small carp. Look at this guy, a common carp. A small one. What do you think, Mr. Carp? I can't breathe. Please put me back in the water. You don't fool me, carp. I know carps can breathe air. I've seen you do it before. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, but put me back in the water. All right, carp, you're going back. All right, common carp, see ya. Not bad so far today. Three fish, all of the bottom feeding variety, however. I would really, really like to catch a crappie or a carp. I mean, uh, not a carp, a crappie or a bass. I have not had much luck in the non-benthic fish category. The visibility of uh, this particular part of the river is not that high. So sight hunters might have a bit of trouble. But I'm gonna try to catch a non-bottom feeding fish. All right, we're going to move below the dam. There's a bunch of still water here. I think there's a hole somewhere around there, and it's uh, fairly deep. So hopefully, we um, can actually get something here. I've never actually caught anything bottom fishing below the dam. Maybe today will change my luck. 
now that the big pole is over there, kind of like in the wash, I'm gonna toss the small pole and see if there's any crappie or bluegill here. Because, uh, like I said, I want to catch something that's non-bottom feeding. And this right now, I, honestly, the water here right now is actually quite a bit uh, higher than what I'm used to. Because usually when I come here in the summer, it's not this high. So more water hopefully means that there's more fish here. But uh, we will find out if that is true. We will find out if that is true. Might have a monumentous moment. I think I got a fish. Feels pretty small though. A fish fishing bottom right before the dam. Oh my god, it's a sucker. It's a white sucker. I didn't know these were actually below the dam. Look at that, man. It's a white sucker right below the dam. I think I'm gonna go over here. This is a pretty big sucker, actually. Pretty big sucker. White sucker right below the dam. It's a pretty big sucker. I think I'm gonna have to go down to reel them up. I have to go down to reel them up. It's a pretty big white sucker. Pretty big white sucker indeed. Monumental occasion. First time I've actually gotten to fish bottom fishing below the dam. It's a decent sucker. It's a very good sucker. Look at this. A white sucker right below the dam. First fish bottom feeding, uh, bottom fishing below the dam. I've bottom fished here all last year. Never caught a single fish. Got a white sucker. What do you think, Mr. Sucker? Are there big fish of death here? I don't know anything. I'm innocent. Let me go. All right. Pike season out, is out, so you're not going to be used to bait. Yay! Still have not caught a bass or a crappie. And uh, that kind of upsets me because I want a non benthic feeding fish, but right now it's only been carps and suckers. They're fun to catch, but I want to catch more species. I know smallies are out in the sugar, I just don't know if they're here on this section of the sugar. I'm hoping they are. Got another fish, got another fish. Doesn't feel big. I'm hoping it's not a benthic feeder, but I think it's a suck. Oh! What is that? What is that? Is that a trout? Oh, that's a trout. It's nice. It's a trout. Check that out. It's a brookie. A nice little brook trout. Get him back in the water. The Sugar River at Belleville is no longer a trout stream. It actually uh, ceases being classified as a trout stream between Pioli and Belleville, about two miles north from here. So you can actually use bottom baits to bait the sugar. What's classified as a trout stream, you're not allowed to use bottom baits or live baits at all until May. But since the Sugar River at this point is not a trout stream, you can use live uh, worm baits. Plus, I've caught way more suckers here than trout. So, um, yeah, at Pioli at Fox Wells right now, you cannot use worms. But here you can because it's no longer a trout stream. We're switching to a sunfish bait. I don't have any better spinners because I don't really fish for trout much. So my uh, spinner collection is pretty limited. So we're going to the sunfish bait. All right, I got one. I finally got one on the pole. Got one on the pole. I don't know what it is, but it feels somewhat larger than the other stuff I've been getting. And this is also a lighter pole, I guess, so that's probably why. I wonder if I snagged it or did it actually bite? Yep, snagged it. Snagged it. Snagged a sucker. Snagged a sucker. It's a smaller one, though. So that's where they are. Oh, no, I snagged a... What is this fish? I oh, snagged a carp. It's a mirror carp. Snagged a mirror carp. Snagged a mirror carp. Snagged him on the side. A mirror carp. Nice, nice. My first mirror carp. I believe this is what they call a mirror carp. Look at the look at the scales on the side. It does not look like a regular carp. I believe it looks like a mirror carp. My first actual mirror carp. It's a very small one, but a mirror carp. The pole I set up here seems to get a fish on every time I just leave it and then go fish elsewhere. Because there's definitely a fish on here. It's pulling. It's, it's really small, it looks like. It's like an ultra small sucker. Or it's just a bullhead? Is that a bullhead? No, it's a creek chub. It is a creek chub. All right, another species. A creek chub. I've never actually caught a creek chub here. It's a creek chub. Another species. A creek chub. A creek chub. I've never caught a creek chub in this part of the river. But there it is, a creek chub. Hi, little chub. Be free. I think that's going to do it for today. We caught like seven or eight fish, like several species, a creek chub, two sucker types, some carp, and a trout. So it's been a pretty good day. Very productive, and I uh, had a lot of fun. So Belleville Dam during the early spring, very, very productive, both above and below the dam. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time.